Gaston started out uh, having to take the bus about seven hours each way every weekend. So he could do his classes in Mexico City during the week and come do his field work at Canali um, on the weekends. Um, and sometimes his dad was kind enough to uh, drive him and Gaston's uh, parents, uh, Manny and Gaston Sr. are joining us from Mexico City. Um, and uh, this was actually really fortunate for us because uh, Gaston's dad is a civil engineer and just uh, finished installing a sustainable carbon neutral power system for us at CCHAP, which we're very proud of. Um, but then Gaston was uh, crazy enough to come back and continue working in the Sierra Madre for his PhD. And he tackled, I think, an incredibly ambitious project. If you read any um, uh, field guide or catalog of fishes, and you look at the localities, you'll notice a pattern. And the pattern tells you that ichthyologists are lazy. <laughs> because you drive along the road, you find a body of water, you get off the bridge, you throw some minnow traps in or something like that, and you go home. <laughs> but of course, that's not where most of the fish live, is under bridges. That's actually the ecological mystery of trolls, if you remember. <laughs> um, and in fact, most of the interesting action in these hybrid zones that we study is going on in very inaccessible remote places. Uh, so Gaston spent the first part of his PhD scaling waterfalls, climbing mountains, uh, occasionally sliding precariously down mountains, um, and just on an absolutely epic scale, finding absolutely beautiful places that very few people have ever been to, as he traced the charts of these hybrid zones from upstream to downstream. And this was the stuff of legend. I mean, he actually saved an elementary school from burning down at one point by like organizing a bucket for a day. I mean, this is the stuff of epic myth. Um, and then when he had his samples, he had other mountains to climb, the mountains of bioinformatics. And what he's going to present to you, I did a little back of the envelope calculation. He's going to be talking about something on the order of 3.2 billion genetic uh, uh, loci multiply the number of individuals and the number of markers uh, that he's working on. Um, and so he had massive mountains to climb in terms of the scale and sweep of the project he was doing. Um, and what's really amazing about Gaston is that during all this time um, when he was working so hard on his research, he was also uh, working really hard at being a teacher. Um, and uh, I see a few faces from Chordate Anatomy here, and Gaston is legendary as an undergrad instructor as well. Um, and Gaston is now moving on to do a postdoc with Daniel Matute at UNC Chapel Hill in search of more mountains to climb. And because the mountains in Mexico weren't challenging enough, this one's going to spew fire. And he's going to go scaling volcanoes in San Tome and Principe um, to uh, collect hybrid Drosophila. And then he's going to do cool stuff in the lab and on the computer on set flies. So without further ado, I'm stuck. <laughs> 